Viewers at home, you are welcome to the part two of my presentation on consignment accounts. In this part two, I will examine the valuation of unsold inventories. In part one, I've told you that consignment is a process of dispatching the goods from one person to another. The process of dispatching or sending goods from the principal to his agent for sales. The principal is said to be the consignor, while the agent is said to be the consignee. I've told you that consignment account, I said it's a form of profit or loss account. Consignment account, I said it's a form of profit or loss account. It's an account prepared to ascertain the profits or losses on the consignment. So, accounts prepared to ascertain the profits or losses on consignment is said to be the consignment account. In this account, there are two sides. We have the debit side and the credit side. The debit side, we have goods on consignment, goods on consignment at the debit side. Goods on consignment. Then we also have the expenses of the consignor, expenses of, of the consignor. And we also have the consignee expenses, consignee expenses. So details per month has been provided in part one of this presentation. Then consignee commission, consignee commission, consignee commission, as well as their credit commission, their credit commission. I told you that their credit commission is an extra commission paid or payable to an agent who agreed to indemnify the consignor against the loss from bad debts, against the bad debts sustained. So the agent that agrees to indemnify the principal from the losses sustained as a result of their introduction made by him, such agent is said to be the debt credit commission. That is the agent that agreed to bear the bad debts. So that agent will receive extra commission known as the debt credit commission. And at the credit side, we have the sales. Sales and the value of unsold inventory. Value of unsold inventory. So upon this, the difference between the two sides, we are the credit side, the see the debit side, we have profit on consignment. Profit on consignment. And we are the debit side, the see the credit side, we have loss on consignment. So this is the consignment account. I've told you that in the books of the consignor, that is, in the books of the principal, you will need to open the agent account. You will need to open the agent account, that is, the consignee account, in the books of the principal. In part one, I've told you that the relationship between the consignor and the consignee is a form of debtors and creditors relationship. I've told you that in the books of the consignor, you will need to open the consignee account. Consignee account, that is the debtors account. So, at the debit side, you have the sales. Then, at the credit side, you have the expenses of the consignee. Expenses of consignee. Then, you also have the commission paid or payable to the consignee as well as the debt credit, debt credit commission. And I want to know that debt credit commission is usually calculated on the credit sales. You don't calculate debt credit commission on, on cash sales. It should be calculated on the credit sales only. But where you are not being told that certain amount of sales is for cash or credit, you assume that all your sales are on credit. In that case, your debt credit commission can be calculated on your total sales, where there is no disparity between cash sales and credit sales. So you calculate your debt credit commission on total sales. So you have the balance to be remitted by, maybe by check, 
or drought, depending on the question. So, this is the consignee account. So, but in the books of the consignee, in the books of the consignee, you will need to open the consignor account. That is the principal account. So, I've told you that the relationship between the consignor and the consignee, I said it's a form of debtors and creditors relationship. What you have debited here will be credited in the consignor's account. You know, it is in the book of the agent, that is the consignee, that the consignor's account will be opened. So, in that case, you have your sales at the credit side. Then expenses of the consignee, not the expenses of the consignor, expenses of the consignee. Commission paid or payable to the consignee. The debt credit commission, if any, debt credit commission. And the balance to be remitted by, maybe by check or draft or bills. So, so, this is the consignor account in the book of the consignee. Now, I want to talk about the valuation of the unsold inventory. That is my focus in this presentation. In this part two, my focus is the valuation of the unsold inventory. Now, to value your unsold inventory, unsold inventory or unsold stocks, you either call it unsold stocks or unsold inventory. I say it will be equal to quantity unsold, that is the remaining ones in stock, the ones that have not been sold, over total quantity consigned. Total quantity consigned. Total quantity consigned is the total quantity of items sent by the principals to the agent times multiplied by total relevant relevant cost total relevant cost multiplied by the total relevant cost that is the value of unsold inventory so now what do we mean by total relevant cost now total relevant cost. Total relevant cost comprises the expenses of the consignor. Expenses of the consignor. You are going to consider all the expenses incurred by the consignor, including the value of goods sent on consignment. That is the value of goods sent by the principal to the agent. Plus consignee. Consignee relevant expenses. Consignee relevant expenses. It is the addition of the three items that we make up the total relevant cost. But I want to stress the third item, which is the consignee relevant expenses. I'm told you that all the expenses incurred by the consignor will be considered. The value of the goods sent by the consignor to the consignee will as well be considered. But the consignee relevant expenses, it's not all the expenses of the consignee that will be considered. Then, what are the portion of the consignee expenses that will be considered when you are valuing the unsold inventory? So, now that is consignee Relevant cost. Consigning relevant expenses are all the expenses include uh, incurred by the consignee. Expenses incurred by the consignee, excluding excluding that is the following expenses should not be considered when you are. Considering or when you, want, when you want to ascertain the expenses incurred by the consignee, the following items of expenses should be excluded. Number one, we have the selling expenses. Selling expenses should not be considered because the selling expenses relate to the items sold. 
not the items in inventory. Advertisement. Advertisement relates to sales, not to the items in stock. Therefore, it should be excluded. Then we have the carriage outwards. Carriage outwards are caused in cure in transporting the goods to, to the customers. So it's also related to sales, not related to the items in stock. We also have the commission by payable to the agent. Commission payable to the agent. That is concerning the commission. It's also related to sales. So it should not be considered. The discount allowed. Discount allowed also relates to the sales being made. Therefore, it does not relate to the items in stock. Then we also have the Del Credit Commission. Del Credit Commission is also relates to sales, so it should not be considered. So, all expenses. Then, other, let me say, other selling expenses. Any other selling expenses? Selling expenses. Any expenses that relates to sales should not be considered. Example. On my way, a dealer in fishing nets in Kogi consigned 100 bundles of fishing nets costing 500 naira each to his agent, Bode of Ilaje Eseodo, Ondo State. On 1st January 20x7, on the following terms number one, the minimum selling price of Bode to be cost plus 50%. Two, but they to be allowed a normal commission of 10% on sales and their credit commission of 5%. On my way, pay the following expenses in respect of the goods consigned. Haulage, 1,200. Insurance, 800 naira. On 30th of April 2007, but they forwarded to on my way an interim account sales showing the following transactions. And enclosing a check for the balance. Saves 15 bundles of nests at 900 naira each on credit. 45 bundles of nets at 950 naira each for cash. 20 bundles of nets at 750 naira each for cash. Expenses, storage charges, 400 naira. Transportation, 700 naira. Selling expenses, 1,800 naira. On 31st May 2007, on my way received the final account sales from Body, showing that the remaining bundles of nets had been sold for catch at 800 naira each. Body incurred Further selling expenses of 600 naira of his credit, of his credit sales, 500 naira proved irrecoverable. But they sent a check for the balance due. You are required to show the necessary ledger entries in the books of the consignor and the consignee. That is the question. Now, let's have the solution to the question. Solution. We want to show the ledger entries in the books of the consignor. Who is the consignor? The person who sent the goods to the agent for sales is the consignor. Now back to the question. On my way, a dealer. That means on my way, a dealer in fishing nets in Kogi consigned 100 bundles of fishing net costing 500 naira each to his agent, Bode. But they of Elijah said Odo is the agent, which is the consignee. Why on my way is the consignor? So now in the ledgers, in the ledgers of on my way, remember on my way is the consignor. So in the book of consignor, we are going to open the number one, the consignment account. Remember, I told you that consignment account is a form of profit or loss account. It is an account prepared to ascertain the profits or losses of the consignor. Now, number two, 
we will open the agent account, that is the consignee account. The consignee, remember in this case, the consignee is body of Elijah Seudo Hundo State. So that means we are going to open consignment account, then we will as well open the body of Elijah Seudo, which is the consignee account, then we will also open who sent on consignment account. Those are the three accounts we are going to open in the books of the consignor. Let's have the consignment account. Consignment account. Remember, I've told you that consignment account is a form of profits or loss accounts. At the debit side, we have the value of the goods sent to the agent. Then we also have the expenses of the consignor and the expenses of the consignee. Remember, the consignee is the agent, while the consignor is the principal. Now, let's go back to the question. Now, we were told on my way, dealer in fishing nets, in Kogi, consign 100 bundles of fishing nets, costing 500 naira each to his agent. No 100 bundles were consigned. That is, 100 bundles were sent to the agent. That means 100 times. 500, that will give us 50,000 error. The value of the goods sent on consignment is 50,000 error. Now, value, now at the debit side we have value of uh, goods sent on consignment. We have 100 bundles at 500 naira each. That gives us 50,000 naira. That is the value of the goods on consignment. Then we have the expenses of the consignor. Expenses of, remember the consignor is on my way, on my way, which is the principal. What are those expenses incurred by on my way? Back to the question. Now, on 1st of January 2007, on the following terms, the minimum selling price of body to be cost plus 50%. But it will be allowed a normal commission of 10% on sales and debt credit commission of 5%. I've told you that debt credit commission, I said that will be calculated on the selling, on the credit sales. Unless you are not given the, the, the examiner did not distinguish between credit and cash sales. It is then that you calculate your debt credit commission on total sales. Where you are given credit sales, that credit commission should be calculated on the credit sales. You don't calculate credit, that credit commission on cash sales. You only calculate it on credit sales. But if you are not given credit sales, you are not given cash sales, you assume that all the sales are on credit. In that case, you can calculate your debt credit commission on total sales. Now, I'm always pay the following expenses in respect of goods consigned. Who is the way? The principal. These are the expenses incurred by on my way by the consignor. Number one, we have haulage of 1,200 and insurance of 800. Now, we have haulage, haulage, 1,200, then insurance, insurance of 800 naira. These are the expenses incurred by the consignor. Back to the question. On 30th of April 2007, but they forwarded to Omowe an interim account sales. Now, an interim account sales was forwarded on the 30th of April, showing the following transactions and enclosing a check for the balance. Now, these are sales that were made as a 30th of April. 20x7. That is 30 for x7. We have 6. Now we have 15 bundles at 900 naira each on credit. 15 bundles at 900. 15 times 900. That will give you the value of sales as at that period. 15 times 900, we have 13,500. That is our credit sales. 
Remember, this is on credit. This is the credit sales we have there. Back to the question. 45 bundles of net at 950 naira each for cash. This is the cash sales. This is receivables. Let me put receivables there. That shows that it is the credit sales. Then we also have another sales. That one is on cash. So, and that is 45 bundles at 950 each. At 950. 45 times 950. That gives us 42,750. Then we also have another sales. 20 bundles of net at 750 naira each for cash. That is also another cash sales. Sales cash. That is 20 bundles. 20 bundles at 750. So that means the only credit sales is the first sales which amounted to 13,500. 20 times 750. That gives us 15,000. You have to close your account at the, uh, uh, upon the receipt of each account sales. That means you have to ascertain the profit or losses on the transactions upon the receipt of each of the account sales. Now, the first account sales, these are the first sales that were made. That means 15 bundles plus 45 bundles, that is 60 bundles plus 20. That means what has been sold so far is 15 plus 45, 60 plus 20. 80 bundles have been sold so far out of 100 bundles. Remember, 100 bundles were consigned. From the 100 bundles consigned, 80 bundles have been sold so far. And how much is the proceed from the realization? of the 80 bundles that have been sold. So, sum it up. What is the total? So, that is the total 71,250. The first sales shows that 80 bundles have been sold so far. Now, back to the question. Expenses. No, these transactions were performed by the agent. That is, but they is the one that forwarded all these details to Omawe. Now, expenses, these are the expenses incurred by body, that is the agent, which is the consignee. Expenses of the consignee. We have storage charges. Now, they have the expenses. Expenses of the consignee, the consignee is body. The first one, we have the storage. Store Regis, storage charges. The storage charges amounted to 400 naira. 400 naira. Back to the question. We have transportation of 700 and the selling expenses of 1,800. Transportation. Transportation. 700. They will also have selling expenses. Selling expenses selling expenses of 1,809 now remember okay back to the question on 31st May 27th on my way received the final account sales this is another account sales I told you that you have to close the accounts upon the receipt of each of the account sales that is you have to ascertain the profits or loss on the transactions upon the receipt of each of the account sales. Now, you will need to ascertain the profits. So, now let's check the commission. You were told, but that will be allowed a normal commission of 10% on sales. Now we have commission. Commission paid to an agent. Commission to body. Normal commission of 10% on sales. 10%. How much is the sales made so far? The total sales is 71,250 as calculated. 10% of 71,250. That is the normal commission. That will be 7,125. 7,125. That is the normal commission. Then aside the normal commission, the credit commission, 
we also be paid to an agent who agrees to indemnify the principal against the law sustained as a result of the introductions made by him. I have told you that it is only the agent who agrees to indemnify the principals against bad debt, against bad debts, that will receive the debt credit commission. A debt credit commission is an extra commission paid to an agent who agrees to bear the bad debts that arises as a result of sales made by him on credit. Therefore, your debt credit commission should be calculated on the credit sales. We have debt credit commission of 5%. Now, debt credit commission. We have five percent of our credit sales, and how much is our credit sales? If you look at our sales, this is car sales. This is also car sales. The only credit sales we have is thirteen thousand five hundred. Therefore, our debt credit commission will be five percent of thirteen thousand five hundred. So, what is five percent of thirteen thousand five hundred? That amounted to six seven five. Now, remember, at, uh, upon the receipt of the first account sales, the only 80 bundles have been sold so far. Number of units consigned is 100. 100 bundles were consigned. Number of units sent on consignment. which is 100 bundles. 100 bundles were sent on consignment. Units sold so far, units sold, that is, upon the receipt of first account sales, how many units were sold? As at the time the first account sales were received, we have first sales 15 bundles, second one 45 bundles, third one 20 bundles. 15 plus 45 plus 20. 15 plus 45 plus 20, that is 80 bundles, 80 bundles. So unsold, unsold units now, or unsold stocks, or unsold inventory, whichever one you call it, will be 100 bundles consigned minus 80 bundles that have been sold so far. That means you are left with 20 bundles unsold. Now, what will not be the value of these unsold inventories? I'm telling you that to calculate the value of unsold inventory, you have, let us all calculate our total relevant cost. Total, total relevant cost, which include value of goods Consigned, the goods sent on consignment, the value amounted to 50,000 naira. 50,000 naira. Plus the consign, the consignor expenses, consignor incur haulage charges and insurance, haulage of 1 2, insurance of 800. So those are the expenses incurred by the consignor. College charges 1200. Then we also have insurance of 800. Then we, have, we now add the consignee relevant expenses. I'm told you that all the expenses of the consignor will, uh, consignee will be considered, except those expenses that relate to sales being made. You will exclude the expenses that relate to sales. Selling expenses related to sales, therefore it should be excluded. The commission relates to sales, it should be excluded. Debt credit commission also relates to sales, therefore it should be excluded. The only relevant expenses are storage charges and transportation. Storage charges of 400, transportation of 700. Now, let's have that. Storage charges of uh, 700. 
700 uh, of 400 transportation transportation of 700 these are the relevant expenses now let's tie it 50,000 plus 1,200 that will be 51,200 plus 800 plus 400 plus 700 Therefore, the total relevant expenses amounted to 53,100. Now, you now apply the proportion of the one unsold over the total units consigned. You apply it on that to get your unsold inventory. Value of unsold inventory or oh, so stocks whichever one you call it the number of units remaining in inventory is 20 bundles so unsold unit is 20 out of total units consigned as a total unit sent by the consigner to the consignee which is 100 100 bundles so we have 20 over 100 times total relevant cost 53,100 times 53,100. So, you have 20 divided by 100 times 53,100. Therefore, our unsold unit is 10,620 naira. Therefore, unsold inventory is valued 10,620. So now you now credit your sold units, you credit it to your consignment account on sold inventory. Value of on sold inventory carried down, which is 10,620. The total of the credit side will now be 10,620. Plus 71,250. That is total 81,870. Now, what is now the total of the debit side? We have 50,000 plus 1,200. That is 51,200. Plus 800. That is 52,000. Plus 400. 52,400. Plus 700. Plus 1,800. Plus 7,125 plus 675. The total of the expenses, that is the total of the debit side, is 62,700. If you now subtract 62,700 from 81,870 minus 81,870, so you have the profit on consignment. Profit. Um, consignment the difference between the two sides which is 19,170 that is the total of all these expenses minus 81,870 that gives us 19,170 so you now add you have 81,870 that is the consignment account are the receipt or upon the receipt of the first account sales. Now, on 31st May 20X7, on my way received the final account sales from body showing that the remaining bundles of net have been sold for cash at 800 naira each. Remember, the initial interim account stage shows that 80 bundles were sold out of the total of 100 bundles. That means the remaining 20 that are still in inventory that remains unsold is the one that will not be sold at 800 naira each. But they incur further selling expenses of 600 naira. Now, this is the continuation of our consignment account. This is the continuation. Remember, our unsold inventory, unsold inventory, and that amounted to 10,620. 
on sold inventory is 10,620. It will be brought down. Uh, on sold inventory brought down 10,620. 10,620. This is the continuation of our consignment account. Extension of the account we are preparing. So, now, says now, that is as at 31st of May, X7, we have says, the final account says, show that the remaining one was sold. No, the one remaining in inventory, the one remain in inventory is 20 bundles. And each bundles were sold at 800 Naira each. So that means that will be sold at 16,000 Naira. 20 times 800, 16,000. So, but they incurred further selling expenses of 600 Naira. So we have selling, selling expenses of 600 Naira. 600. Then aside selling expenses, back to the question. On his credit says, 500 Naira proved irrecoverable. That's to show that, but they incurred the bad debts of 500 Naira. Since Bode is a debt credit agent, therefore, this bad debt will not need to be recorded as an expenses. So, since Bode will be receiving commission. So, uh, debt credit commission. So, but the final says, the final account says that were received, we show that the remaining inventories or bundles remains, uh, the remaining ones were sold for 800 Naira. So the 800 Naira account sales which was received uh, is a cash sales. Since this is a cash sales, so you, but they will not be entitled to further debt credit commission aside the initial debt credit commission which has been received by body. Remember, I told you that debt credit commission will be calculated on credit sales. Therefore, but they will receive the normal commission of 10%. So now let's calculate the commission now. But this commission, commission, the normal commission, which is 10% of sales. Remember, the sales of 16,000 is a cash sales, cash sales. 10% of cash sales of 16,000, that gives us 1,600. So, now, what is the total of debit side? 10,620 plus 600 plus 1,600, that is total 12,020. If you subtract 12,020 from 16,000 minus 16,000, so you'll be left with 3,180. This is the profit on um, consignment. This is the further profit on consignment upon the receipt of the final account sales. So we close the account, 16, thousand so this is the consignment account so remember you are to you are required to show the necessary ledger entries in the books of the consignor aside the consignment account i say in the books of the consignor you will need to open the consignee account which is body now let's open body body account which is the consignee consignee Account that is in the books of on my way that is in the books of the consignor. Now I told you that agent is just like a debtor. Agent is a debtor of the consignor, but they is just like a debtor. The arrangement or the agreement between the agent and the principal is a form of debtors and creditors relationship. Their relationship is just like debtors and creditors relationship, but this is a debtor. So now the sales made will be debited. So what are the sales? We have sales thirteen thousand five hundred. Sales thirteen thousand five hundred. Then we also have another sales of forty two thousand seven fifty. Then we also have another one of 15,000. The initial says 15, 
thousand. That is total seventy one thousand two fifty. Seventy one thousand two fifty. The expenses of the consignee. Expenses of body include storage charges four hundred. Body expenses. Expenses of body. Expenses of the consignee. We have storage charges of four hundred. Transportation seven hundred. Storage charges four hundred. Transportation seven hundred. Then we also have selling expenses of one thousand eight hundred. Commission seven thousand one two five. Selling expenses one thousand eight hundred. Then we also have commission of seven thousand one two five. Then we also have their credit commission C seven five. Their credit commission. Their credit commission of uh, 675. So, when you add, you add the credit side. We have 400 plus 700, that is 1,100 plus 1,800 plus 7,125 plus 675. So, we have 10,700. And the debit side is total 71,250. What is the difference between the two amounts? 71,250. When you subtract that from it, you'll be left with 60,550. 60,550. Now, back to the question. You were told that Bode sent a check for the balance due. He sent a check for the balance due. So that means the balance will be remitted through bank. So we have bank which is 60,550. Uh, 60, so what is the total? 71,250. That is for the initial account say 71,250. Initial account says which was sent as a target of April 28th, 7. Target of April 28th, 7. And the final account says was sent or as a 31st of May 2007. 31st of May 2007. So we also have sales. The final sales, the sales that was made, that I wanted to 16,000. So 16,000. What are the expenses? Further expenses incurred by the agent. We have selling expenses, 600. Commission, 1,600. Agent expenses, that is body expenses, which include selling expenses of 600. Then we also have the commission, commission received by a body of 1,600. If you add the 600 and 1,600, that will be 2,200. If you subtract 2,200 from 16,000, then you'll be left with the balance of 13,800, which will be sent by check. So we have bank 13,800. Total 16,000. 16, so that is the consigning account. The third account that we need to be opened in the books of Body that is the consignor is goods sent on consignment account. Goods sent on consignment account. So this account we also need to be opened in the books of body. So in the books of the consignor. Now, how much was the goods consigned? Goods sent on consignment was debited to consignment account, and the value of the goods is 50000 Since it was debited to consignment, the double entry principle states that for every debit entry, 
there must be a corresponding credit entry. The debit entry is in the consignment account, while the credit entry will be in goods sent of consignment. So we have consignment. And that amounted to 50,000. So you close it to trading account. Trading account, or you have it as purchases. Trading account, that is 50,000. These are the accounts required in the books of the consignor. Having opened the necessary accounts in the books of the consignor, that is in the books of our Mawe, we therefore want to open the necessary account in the books of body, that is in the books of the agent. So, in the books of the consignee, that is agent, Remember, but this is the consignee. So it is the consignee that will open the account of the consignor. Why the consignor will open the account of the consignee? So in the post of the consignee now, you will need to open the consignor account. On my way, on my way the consignor, on my way account. That is consignor. So, I told you earlier that the relationship between the consignor and the consignee is the form of the creditors and debtors relationship. So, what you have debited in the Bordes account, that is in the consignee account here, will therefore be credited in the consignor account. So, you just want to reverse it. It is the same entries you are going to have. Only that the items you have debited will not be credited. And those ones you have credited will not be debited. So, now, as a 30th of April now, you know you have sales being debited. Now, let's credit them. 30th of April, X7. So, the interim account sales, the first sales, that amounted to 13500 Then the later one, that amounted to 42000 750 and the third one amounted to 15,000. The total series is 71,250. That is for the first interim account sales. So we also have the expenses of body, that is expenses of the consignee. So you have them debited. Remember, those are the expenses you have credited here in the consignee account. So you will not want to debit them. We have the storage charges, transportation, storage charges 400, transportation 700. We have storage charges of 400, transportation, transportation of 700. Back to, for this I can. We also have selling expenses of 1800 and commission of 7125 selling selling expenses selling expenses of uh, 1800 then we also have commission of 7125 then we also have their credit commission of 675 and the balance was semi remitted through bank. So, their credit commission 675, their credit, their credit commission of 675 and the balance was remitted through bank. The balance is 60,550. 60,550. So, you close that 71,250. So, 71,250. That is for the first interim account sales. And the latter interim account, uh, latter account, the final account sales was received as a 31st of May, X7. 31st of May, X7. So, you have sales. The final account sales shows that the sales of 16,000 error was made. You have 16,000. So, we have... 16,000 Naira. 
Then the same expenses you have in the consignee's account, we have selling expenses, 600 and commission of 1,600. Back. Expenses of body. Expenses of body. Selling expenses. Selling expenses of, of 600 naira. And then we also have commission of 1,600. Commission, 1,600. And you were told the balance is to be, to be remitted by means of check. So we have 13,800. So that will be totaled 16,000 naira. 16,000 naira. So this is the end the part two of my presentation on consignment account. In part three, I will examine the loss of goods in transit. Please don't forget to like this video so that it will get rec more recommendations from YouTube. Thanks for watching this account.